we wanted to make a video about superwomen and I consider myself a superwoman um, strictly because I lived through a situation and despite that situation I got up every single day and I went to work and I put on a brave face and I decided to continue living despite my um, despite my circumstance and I'm just one of many women who wear this suit of armor with the big S on our chest and there's something to be said about a woman that can hold her shit together when she's not feeling good when she is suffering when she's faced situations such as chemotherapy, um, cancer diagnosis, uh, the loss of a loved one, domestic violence, sexual assault, and anything else that fits underneath the category where it's a circumstance that can actually make or break you as an individual. So I don't know, I can't really tell you how it was that I continued to get up every day for work, put on a happy, you know, smile, say hi, be pleasant to people, have relationships with my friends and family, and raise children. I don't know what it was. I. When you live in secrecy and fear for a long time, there's something to be said about holding it together. And it, it takes more strength to hold it together day by day rather than breaking down and not being able to function. And I, the majority of women I know that have lived in these situations, you know, they don't do drugs and they don't drink and they look like the type of women who seem to have um, a fairly good life. These are the kind of women that actually other people envy, the kind of women that basically I don't, I can't really explain it, but there's something to be said for a woman who gets up day after day and faces the world and puts us, casts aside her fear and continues to perform her tasks and live her daily life and raise her children and all of that stuff. It, it, there's something to be said for this type of woman. There's usually... A, a, there's a certain demeanor where, I, you know, a lot of times I looked very strong and I was very pleasant and I had a lot of friends and um, I would always say it's great, everything's okay, it's good, etc., etc. But it's it's almost as if you're looking at a statue of something that has been created by an artist. But, and, and that is sculpted absolutely wonderfully, but on the inside, it's almost, it's, there's the shell on the outside and on the inside, it's as if something exploded on the inside, but the external shell is so hard and so thick that it doesn't, that the external portion of that sculpture isn't fractured. It's just, it's almost like as if the inside was bombed as if you were going through a war and it crumbles on the inside but still it's it's solid on the outside so that's the best way I can describe um, a superwoman no matter how bad you crumble on the inside I'm just telling you there's there's nothing like being able to hold it together I think it's what allows us to survive and get through every single day um, 
and that's all I have to say about it. I, these are the women that I'm friends with, that I'm close to. It's the kind of person that would say once in a while, oh, you know, life is, it's difficult or there's, it's challenging or you can just tell. I'm not really quite sure how you can tell, but every superwoman has a point in which she finally says, I, I, I can't, I can't literally do this anymore because I have just enough strength to get through maybe one more day, maybe one more week, maybe one more month. And then finally her voice comes through and there's something inside of her that says, I, enough is enough. So that's a superwoman for you. Um, they, they wear invisible capes. So that's all I wanted to say. Um, I hope this video helps someone. And I hope whatever it takes you to get through. But eventually, um, also, superwomen need friends, and they need outlets, and they need the ability to talk and be understood and be heard and be listened to and be believed. So, anyways, that's all I've got for right now. Um, I hope this video helps someone. And if anyone needs my help, I'm here for you. So... That's all I've got for now, and I'll talk with you soon. Bye-bye.